Tis the season for spring cleaning, and there's no time like the present while we're all at home to be getting to some of those jobs that you've been putting off. For me, it is my oven. I'm gonna show you how to clean your oven with three ingredients or less. Baking soda, water, and vinegar. I'm also gonna try a few other little hacks that I have read about on the internet. Let's get started. But before, have you subscribed to my recipes on YouTube? If not, you need to stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to my recipes and then click the bell so you're notified every time we post an informative video like this. Now, I'm going to give you an inside look at a really embarrassing dirty oven. You see all that? It's gonna be kinda hard to get off. And then the door is a whole nother beast, okay? So there you have it, my not so clean oven. Okay, first things first, you have to get the racks out of the oven. And then we're going to make a paste out of baking soda and water. Now, the standard mixture is going to be about a cup of baking soda to about a third cup of water. You just want it to be, you know, like a thick paste. I'm going to go ahead and do two cups of baking soda. So I'm kind of doubling this mixture. And then I'm gonna start with a half a cup of water. Okay, then we're just gonna stir that together. I feel like I might need a splash more water. So I want it kind of like the sand when you make like drizzle castles. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, a great tip before you start is to spread out a big garbage bag so that it will catch any of the debris when you clean out your oven. Okay, then we're going to open the oven and scrape out some of those little just crumbs and burnt pieces. All right, I've got most of the crumbs out, so now I'm going to smear my baking soda mixture over the entire surface of the oven. Completely covered the inside of the oven with my baking soda mixture, and I'm just going to let it do its thing for at least 12 hours. Um, I think it would be fine if you just didn't wanna wait that long, but give it at least four hours before you tackle this, but it's just as easy for me to be done for the day and pick this back up tomorrow. I'm gonna go spread some more mixture on my racks and we'll clean those as well. And don't forget, don't use your oven. All right, the baking soda mixture has sat in the oven overnight and it's ready to be wiped out. So to make this process even easier, we're going to use vinegar um, and water and we're just going to make a mixture and help wipe that out. What I like to do is just put some water in a bucket and add some vinegar. And I like to put about equal parts or maybe a little more water than vinegar. I'm gonna soak my sponge in that vinegar mixture and it's going to help remove all that baking soda and grime from the oven. Wow. And you can see that it is coming off. I'm not even having to use that much force. It's really lifting right up. All right, so far, so good. I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product. Um, I want to try something on this door that I read about. You take these dishwasher tabs, the kind with the ball in it, and they say if you just dip this in a little bit of warm water and rub it along the glass, that all of this baked on, oily, brownish, yellowish stuff is going to come right off. Oh my God, it comes right off. All right, you gotta see this up close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, this glass is so clean. I'm gonna give it a final wipe down. You just wanna take like a warm, damp, um, washcloth or old rag and you just want to wipe it out with just warm water to get all the residue off and you'll have to probably rinse your rag a few times. 
Now listen, I could go through this thing with a toothbrush and get every single little speck, but I don't care that much. But if you want to do that, you go right ahead. It will all come off with just baking soda and vinegar. But I'm just happy the way it looks now. So I'm gonna go get my racks and show you the finished product. All right. She's a thing of beauty. And keep in mind, this oven is very old. But she sure is clean now. All right, I'm putting in my clean racks. And I'm so proud of my handiwork right here. Um, it really was not hard. And I doubted the natural cleaners. You know I like a good chemical every once in a while. But baking soda and vinegar did the trick. It made my very old oven look not so old. Um, it actually looks pretty new. I mean, I'm proud of this and I'm a little embarrassed at how it was before. Mission accomplished. For more great videos like this and tips in the kitchen, don't forget to follow my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Now, what are you waiting for? Go clean your oven.